Now this illustration deals with service entrance cables equipped with a service head or gooseneck type cable in accordance with NEC 230.54B. Let's review to the left of the illustration and notice there is a gooseneck cable there, tapped and painted uh, and tapped with self-sealing material in accordance to the exception to 230.54B. Now, uh, in my younger days uh, dealing with uh, cable on some of the uh, dwelling units that uh, uh, we had either designed or wired, we uh, would take a cable and we would bring it up and we would gooseneck it so that the cable was in a weatherhead type configuration, so to speak, with the conductors coming out, which would be connected in a drip loop and connected to the service drop conductors. But what you see more today is the installation to the right uh, of the illustration. And notice we'd have a rain tight weather head. And the weather head would have the conductors coming out through holes of the head, and we would terminate to the service drop. Now, notice the weather head protects the conductors that's inside the raceway from gathering large amounts of water. Now, the means of attachment. We looked in two, at in 230.26, and it was a mass type attachment that was used in this case with the supports that would substantially support the drop so it wouldn't pull loose or pull the uh, point of attachment, wouldn't pull the raceway from the building. So this figure 6-31 is just illustrating where a weather rain tight weather head was used or a gooseneck configuration a service entrance cable was used which you would see a lot in the old existing residential areas 